Yeah, the mitte is zu hoch. Yeah, the, the rent is too high. And here we have it also in Turkish, which shows you something, as we said before, the community that lives in this neighborhood, which is this mix between uh, the Turkish community that came with the guest worker programs in the 1960s, and these men brought their families, uh, the punk community, and most recently, of course, many immigrants that have come to live in this part of Kreuzberg, uh, many of whom are from Syria and from uh, North Africa, uh, and so it's a, a quite remarkable uh, melange. The gay community came here already in the in the 80s. The 80s, um, much of the gay community in Berlin was located in the neighborhood of Schöneberg, which is directly to the west of here. We're talking now in the period of former West Berlin. Because it was on the U1 line, a lot of the bars started moving farther to the east. A lot of the cheaper kind of rundown dive bars were farther to the east in Kreuzberg. So it set itself up as the kind of alternative gay life, life to the very standard, um, I would say more commercial gay life that you saw in the gay village of Schöneberg around Nollendorfplatz. So it's proximity and also a kind of reaction to what you saw in Schöneberg just farther down the line, slightly farther east, was the more alternative scene. Um, this is an uh, uh, alternative scene really grew in Kreuzberg once the neighborhood became hipper, more central, right? And it went from not just being a, a place full of dive bars, but also a place uh, where there are a lot more hipster and alternative and, uh, bars in this. Um, I, a really good example is if you look just across here, you see that there's a, a, a gay beer garden. And I had a really interesting conversation with the, with the women here, because a lot of the women who are working in this meat, uh, meat um, rental protest booth, which is right here, um, are, are veiled. They look conservative. They look like they are uh, people who, who might, I mean, just to, from a visual stereotype, might be religious and have problems with homosexuality. I sat there, I was talking to four women there. And I asked them, so what do you think of the fact that directly across is a gay bar, right? This is a gay bar here. This is, this is called Zudlock. It's a community center. They actually do a lot of things for uh, the people in the gay community who are in wheelchairs, for people who are differently abled. Um, and it's also a very large lesbian presence, a large gay presence. They have gay bingo, they have Keats bingo. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's a really pla a place where everyone is welcome. And the women here, I said, what do, you have a, is, do you have any issue with the lesbian bar across? And they, they looked at me as if I was crazy. And they said, no, we're in Kati. 